Poland to make K2PL tanks based on 120mm K2 Black Panther Korea and Poland have signed an agreement to develop and manufacture a tank for the Polish army. The K2PL tank will be built based on one of the best tanks in the world at the moment and second in a ranking, K2 Black Panther. The agreement was signed during the Eurosatory International Defense and Security Exhibition in Paris. The signed agreement was officially announced by the head of the Ministry of National Defense Marius Blaszczak and was signed by the Korean manufacturer Hyundai Rodem and the Polish manufacturer Polska Grupa Zbrojeniowa. PGZ has extensive experience in the production of all armored combat vehicles, including tanks. According to the Polish online portal DEFENSE24, PGZ will receive a transfer of production technology, which will allow the Polish company to master the development and production of key elements for the tank. Last but not least, according to DEFENSE24, Poland is ready to buy existing K2 Black Panther tanks to increase the combat capability of the Polish army and its effectiveness in the event of threats. Defense24 writes that the state will acquire a certain number of K2 without specifying the amount discussed. At present, there is no specific information on what the tank will look like and what different features and elements will be integrated into it to meet Polish needs. However, photos of models shared on social media claim that they show the design of K2PL. K2 Black Panther is a product of the Korean company Hyundai Rodem and is in the category of next generation tank. It was designed at the end of 2008 and has been in production since then, with about 500 units produced so far. This is the main battle tank of the South Korean army. The tank has been officially in service since 2017. There are currently no officially registered military operations around the world. He is in service only in South Korea, but is participating in a competition for a new battle tank of the Norwegian Armed Forces. Egypt is also interested in it, the country that made the largest purchase of self-propelled howitzers in the world, the Korean K-9 Thunder. K2 Black Panther weighs 55 tons and is operated by a three-member crew. The tank is 10.8 meters long, but the distance between the axles of the chassis is 7.5 meters, 3.6 meters wide, and 2.4 meters high. The armor of the tank is a combination of POSCO Mil 12560H armor steel and other classified plates along with ERA and NARA modular add-on armor in addition to soft kill and hard kill anti-missile defense systems. The main armament consists of a Hyundai Wea CN08 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun, while the secondary armament consists of a 12.7x99mm K6 heavy machine gun 3200 rounds initially loaded and 7.62x51mm NATO coaxial machine gun. Currently, the tank is powered by a Korean engine Hyundai Doosan Infracore DV27K4 long stroke, 12 cylinder water cooled diesel, dry weight, 2550 kilograms, but during the production of the first units of the tank, the engine was German, MTU.
The Korean engine provides 1,500 horsepower, which is close to 27 horsepower per ton. With one charge of the tank, the tank travels a distance of 450 kilometers. The maximum speed that the tank can reach is 70 km h if it is moving on the road, otherwise between 30 to 50 km h if the terrain is difficult to access, off-road, or heavily rugged. According to them, the Polish-Korean tank will have a seventh wheel in the wheel mechanism, which will make the K2PL longer than the usual length for the main battle tank. It is rumored that the tank will receive a new turret design, and the distribution of ammunition will also be improved. There is no information on what the main cannon of the tank will be will it keep the 120mm cannon of the K2 Black Panther, or will it be used differently, nor the secondary weapon, which serves for protection in close combat. During the briefing, numerous declarative statements were made, referring to the procurement of military equipment, including the planned Cormoran 2 MCMV procurement, Rosamac APC ZSSW-30 turret procurement, the Atoker Broza tank destroyer program, or the acquisition of the AW-149 helicopters in the Perkis program. The head of the Polish Ministry of Defense also mentioned purchases expected to be made in the Republic of Korea, including infantry fighting vehicles that would complement the domestically made Borsuk IFV, Hoitzers, and K2 MBTs. Speaking to DEFENC24.pl, spokesman for the armament agency, Lt. Col. Christoph Batek stated that no formal procurement procedures have been launched, nonetheless, the technical talks are already underway. When it comes to the specific programs, speaking of IFV, we are dealing with a perspective, not a gap filler solution. The above means that AS-21 Redback is given consideration, instead of the legacy K-21 design. When it comes to self-propelled Hoitzers, the talks cover the matter of the K-9 base platform that can then be used by HSWSA to increase the manufacturing output regarding the Polish Crab SPH. HSW has recently secured an export order. Furthermore, an extra contract is also expected to be signed domestically. Crab is based on the license manufactured K9 platform, but the first batch has been delivered by the South Korean industry.